Alessia, what is Comitato Collaborazione Medica and which is its mission? Comitato Collaborazione Medica, CCM, is an Italian NGO born in 1968, so we have uh, almost 50 years, and its mission is to assist health system strengthening in both uh, low and middle income countries, especially in, the, uh, in Africa, in the Horn of Africa, and in Italy. Uh, so we do not create a parallel health system, but we really strengthen health systems in order most vulnerable groups uh, to be facilitated in the access and the utilization of healthcare services. Thank you. And can you talk about CCM activities for migrants in Italy? In Italy, CCM has been uh, developing uh, quite good skills uh, and its approaches uh, is uh, a twofold approaches. So on the one hand, we provide uh, technical assistance and capacity building and training for uh, health staff, uh, social staff, uh, educators, so all professionals that work together with migrants in order to sensitize them on the importance of uh, developing relational, communicational and cultural skills in order to deal with uh, beneficiaries, with people, with patients that come from different countries that have a different cultural background and that are not so familiar with the biomedical health system. On the other hand, we also sensitize migrants. We provide health education for migrants in order to facilitate the access to health services in Italy, to orient them to the utilization of Italian healthcare systems, which is uh, luckily very inclusive, so it's available for any kind of migrants, both regular and irregular migrants, and we also sensitize them to adopt a health-seeking behavior in order prevention and primary health care to be supported and their, um, their health and well-being and lifestyle to be uh, as much adequate as possible. Thank you. And can you tell us your experience with uh, children assistance also? Yes, uh, among migrants, one of the most vulnerable groups that we work with is the groups of uh, mothers of pregnant women, so women that are going to deliver babies, because they, um, they live in uh, vulnerable conditions and because they, uh, they need to get assisted, to get supported during this important phase of their life. And if they are able to develop an health-seeking behavior, most, lucky, uh, most likely uh, the, bene the, the benefits of this health-seeking behavior um, will be born not only by their children but their whole families and their, and their community because they, they really have um, a, a role in the, in the care of the community and of the wider family. Thank you very much. Welcome.